talking the latest Detroit Lions news and some rumors regarding this football team. And we'll again, keep you updated with the DJ Chark, the latest there. Chark week just continues until we get an answer. But we're going to go over some interesting articles that has been given out of, of potential players the Lions could sign in free agency. We're talking about some defenders and some quarterbacks. So we're going to go over these articles. I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. Why I think it could be good or why I think it could be BS, just give you the thoughts there around this. Because free agency is not over and the Lions potentially could make some more moves. But before we get into today's video, if you're not a subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. Try to get to 35,000 subscribers. We're 200 away. All you got to do is hit that subscribe. Also, if you could do me a favor and hit that like button, that would be absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. And guess what, folks? We're not even going to do an intro on this one. We're just going to go straight into it because there's a lot to talk about and thoughts on this one. Now, an article came out here from Yard Barker, and it talked about two big names the Detroit Lions could look to acquire in free agency to upgrade the Lions' defense. And it says here from you know Michael Gallagher and people in the know when it comes to, you know, the, the mainstream believes. Jones from The Athletic believes that the Lions could go after in serious players for Bobby Wagner in defensive edge rusher Leonard Floyd. Now, he believes that the Lions could be going after Bobby Wagner and Floyd. What do I think about this? I don't think it's real. First off, I think Bobby Wagner probably wants to go back to Seattle. That's what we've heard all the time. One-year deal. And if you look at the Detroit Lions, they just paid Alex Anzalone a three-year, you know, pretty nice contract for what he has. And you already got Malcolm Rodriguez and Derek Barnes. I think the Lions do upgrade the linebacker position, but in the 2023 NFL Draft. You know, Bobby Wagner, look, he would be a great addition to the Lions defense. Let's not blow smoke on there. I think absolutely he would be a fantastic addition to the Lions defense. I just don't think they're going to go that route. But Mike Jones from The Athletic, in which I love his name, who, Mike Jones, believes the Lions are serious contenders for Bobby Wagner. So I got to let you know, I personally don't think so, but guess what? He does. They also believe for Leonard Floyd, the Lions could be serious contenders for him. I really doubt this one because... We already got a ton of pass rushers, a lot of defensive linemen. The Lions don't need to add another one of those guys. But let me know in the comment section right now, would you sign Bobby Wagner to a one-year deal? Let me know. Why for yes and N for no? Would you do it? Again, I don't think Bobby Wagner is a, le a legitimate option, nor do I think that Leonard Floyd would be, but if you're trying to go all in, you definitely want to put talent around your football team, and that's probably where he's getting this from. Also, interesting here. Six landing spots for Cam Newton, and guess who is number five? It is the Detroit Lions there and Packers PN6, which is interesting. Um, do I think the Detroit Lions and Cam Newton, and this actually started yesterday on 97 won the ticket, that, you know, should the Lions go for Cam Newton, he looks better, this, that, and the other. The Lions aren't going to get Cam Newton. I don't believe at all they're going to get him. Cam Newton is probably looking to be someone of a starter in the NFL, an opportunity if he was to ever come back. I don't even know if he gets an opportunity to come back. And Jared Goff is the starter for this football team. And he's, you know, I, there's not 32 quarterbacks better than me. Well, you come to Detroit, I'm sorry, but Jared Goff right now is better than you. And he is our starter. We don't really need that, that on our team. We need to get a guy, a, 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 a second-string quarterback that's, uh, I think, a little more low-profile, like a Teddy Bridgewater. And we're going to get into these quarterbacks here in a little bit. And get a guy in the draft, a developmental guy. I think Cam Newton is not for the Detroit Lions, so I completely disagree with you know, 97 won the ticket on that. I disagree with this article that the Lions do not need to get Cam Newton. I don't think they will get Cam Newton. I think that is a pipe dream for sure. 
Would Cam Newton be a great number two? I think he would be. You know, I th- is he washed? He could be. I think he would be a decent number two, but he ju- it just comes with a little bit more baggage, and I don't think we need that right now. We need we need to have players m- m- close to the vest that kind of understand the role a little bit if you're doing backup quarterback. And let's be honest here. I think the Lions, the reason they have not signed a backup quarterback yet, smartly and wisely, is considering the fact they don't want to give a boatload of cash to a backup quarterback number two. That's smart. There's a lot of quarterbacks on the market. And I think Cam Newton would demand more. And he would demand to have an opportunity to be QB1. So, no, I don't think the Detroit Lions should look at Cam Newton or sign him. It's just a different different time for our football team, a different time for him, and I disagree. But let me know in the comments section, would you sign Cam Newton? Put C for Cam or put P for pass? In the comments below, let me know your thoughts. That's going to be the pinned comment for this video. Let's go ahead and continue on here and talk about the backup quarterback position because this is something that we've been wanting to know is who's going to be the backup quarterback. And let me get these names for you adjusted a little bit better. But there's a lot of options still on the table here, just a lot. And if you look at it here, these are the quarterbacks that have already signed the, the, uh, on spot track here. A lot of quarterbacks, folks. A lot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 quarterbacks signed. Two of them you could probably say like a Baker Mayfield or obviously Derek Carr starters. So the rest are available for backup role. And there is a lot of quality backup quarterbacks available. Most notably for me is Teddy Bridgewater. He's he's had connections here to the Detroit Lions. And since all these other teams already paid some money to these backups, all these quarterbacks here are not going to cost much at all. We're talking maybe $2 million. And that's kind of what you're looking for, a backup, 2 to $3 million, not spending a lot of money. I agree with Woodward Sports on that fully. You don't want to spend a ton of money, but you could still get quality players here. Carson Wentz, I know a lot of people don't like Carson Wentz, but as a QB2, he's only 30, and he has started experience for, I don't know, uh, a one-year, two million bucks, I'd do it. I mean, it's not a big deal. Matt Ryan here, 37. That's probably what a lot of... He he will demand a little bit more money because, I look, he is a starter. He started last year. I don't think he's a starter, in all honesty. But that's probably what he's looking for is more of an opportunity to compete. That's an option. Tom Brady's not an option. He's retired. Teddy Bridgewater, the most realistic option here for me. Um, young. And I, he is an accurate quarterback. Does he have an injury issues? Absolutely, he does. But you got to understand, it's a backup quarterback. This is not Tua Tunga Vailoa. Jared Goff is an Iron Man. He's not going to be out of the out of the games left and right. He's just not. He doesn't have issues like that. He plays through pain. It's a whole different situation where Teddy Bridgewater had to get a lot more snaps over there because Tua is always injured. Mason Rudolph is another legit option for the Detroit Lions here. We had connections last year. Potentially the Lions could get have traded for him, maybe a late-round draft pick. Didn't happen. But since he's a free agent now, Kyle Rudolph, again, starting experience. is the greatest quarterback in the world. No, but a QB, too. I don't mind it. And, and you get a quarterback in the draft that's your you know, QB3, developmental to be your QB2 going the future. No problem. You can go older at Joe Flacco here. I don't really like this option. They need, I mean, they had issues over there for the Jets, and they wouldn't even go to him. So I don't like that as an option. Blaine Gabbert's actually a legit option here, too. 33 years old. He was the backup to Tom Brady for multiple years over there for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And you say, oh, he's trash. He, well, look, he's a backup quarterback, and I would not mind it as a backup or a QB, too, at all. I think that he would be a really good backup to Jared Goff, for sure. I think if he had to come in, which you probably wouldn't have expected a whole lot because Jared Goff, again, is that Iron Man. You don't have to worry about it. Um, Chase Daniels, no. Trevor Sinian, no. Brian Hoyer, eh, maybe, probably not. Brandon Allen, no. Josh Johnson, no. Sudfield, we just got through that. Are you kidding me with Nate, Nathan Peterman? Jeff Driscoll, 
actually was, he's probably better than you would expect. He actually did Kumwe's alliance. The rest of these guys, no. So if you're looking for a, a QB, two, it's probably going to come down to one. It would come down to Carson Wentz, maybe a Matt Ryan, Teddy Bridgewater, Rudolph, Gabbert. I think those are your legit options here for QB, two. And they're not going to cost you a whole lot. So I'm f- I'm fine with them waiting. We should know any time. Maybe by the time you're actually watching this video, we've gotten a quarterback signed. It should be any time. I was told last week, late last week, it was 48, 48 hours and 72. It's done past that. It should be any time. So maybe they're just trying to beat Fuqua with the contract with one of these guys, saving some money just like we're doing with DJ Chark. And an update again with DJ Chark. Again, it's still the Detroit Lions, the Carolina Panthers. Nothing has changed there. But with tweets, when it comes to the beat writers, it seems like him coming back to the Lions is now more realistic, like 60% coming back compared to what we thought. So each day passes, it seems more likely. But maybe by the time this video comes out, he's either signed with Carolina or signed with the Detroit Lions. So we'll find out. But yeah, it's still undecided there with Shark Week, and I can't wait for him to get signed because I'm tired of talking about it, in all honesty. But you got to because it's our last one, you know, last major one. So you have to put it in there. But again, I think for the Detroit Lions' sake, they're being, they've offered him a contract. He can take it or leave it. He hasn't made the decisions. Comes back to the D, I wouldn't mind it for sure. Maybe another one-year deal, but that's how it is there. Folks, in the upcoming videos, we got videos dropping every single day. Tuesday, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, even on Sundays if there's breaking news like we did this last one. You want to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest news or rumors regarding our Detroit Lions. Again, C.J. Gardner-Johnson signed Sunday night at 9.45 p.m. is when I made my video. That is not a time I generally drop videos, so you got to be notified for those videos to come out. With that said, folks, adios.